Rocket Lab has been trying to become a vertically integrated company, offering practically any service needed related to launching payloads into orbit. The company's unique technology, and specifically the Photon spacecraft bus, helped them secure a contract with Varda Space Industries. This upcoming mission will see Rocket Lab help place a small space factory into the proper orbit. Just days ago, Rocket Lab completed and shipped the Photon spacecraft for the first launch, scheduled next month in June. The goal is to enable high-value products to be manufactured in zero gravity and return to Earth in Varda's reentry capsule. Photon is a custom spacecraft bus that acts like a third stage once separated from the rocket. In the past, we've seen this hardware allow Rocket Lab to send payloads all the way to the moon with a small lift launch vehicle. Now, it's helping space factories stay powered, communicate, and stay in orbit as intended. Here I'll go more in depth into this customer Photon spacecraft, the space factory being launched, what to expect in the coming weeks, and more. This mission has been in the works for quite a long time, but just recently, a lot of things are picking up. Less than a week ago on the 9th, Rocket Lab tweeted saying, New Photon spacecraft complete. We're celebrating the completion and shipping of a custom photon for Varda Space to enable in-space pharmaceutical manufacturing. The Rocket Lab designed and built photon spacecraft will provide power, communications, propulsion, and attitude control to Varda's 120 kilogram capsule that will provide pharmaceutical products in microgravity and return them to Earth. In addition to providing support during the in-space manufacturing phase of Varda's mission, the Photon will place Varda's hypersonic reentry capsule carrying finished pharmaceuticals on board on a return trajectory to Earth. Varda Space's manufactured products are targeting small molecule therapeutics, and over time larger molecules and biologics, all of which can have higher efficacy when produced in microgravity, while the reentry capsule provides opportunities to advance hypersonic systems. This first mission will focus on small molecule formulation to provide insight into retrieved microgravity-grown pharmaceutical crystals. The Photon spacecraft was developed, manufactured, and tested at a Rocket Lab spacecraft production facility in Long Beach, California. With final assembly, integration, and test of the spacecraft complete, the fully integrated Varda spacecraft has been shipped to Vandenberg Space Force Base for a launch on a commercial rideshare mission, scheduled for no earlier than June 8th. On this specific mission, Rocket Lab's electron launch vehicle won't be used, but instead, it will take off on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rideshare mission. This Photon spacecraft is the first of four ordered by Varda to support in-space pharmaceutical manufacturing. Leveraging Rocket Lab's deep vertical integration, all Photon spacecraft incorporate Rocket Lab designed and manufactured components and software, including star trackers, propulsion, reaction wheels, solar panels, flight software, radios, composite structures and tanks, and separation systems. With the Photon spacecraft being shipped, Rocket Lab founder and CEO Peter Beck commented, Opening access to space is about much more than launch for Rocket Lab. It's about making it easier to put the ideas of tomorrow in orbit today enabling innovation, rapid iteration, and new capabilities that will improve lives back on Earth. This is exactly what the team at Varda is doing by producing novel pharmaceuticals in orbit, and we're immensely proud to make that possible with our Photon spacecraft. Space Systems is a rapidly growing part of Rocket Lab's business, and we're happy to deliver another spacecraft that leverages our vertical integration strategy for high-quality and cost-effective satellite solutions on rapid timelines, he said. The mission will begin with a launch before Varda's factory and the attached Rocket Lab photon separate from the rocket. Once in orbit, the production facility begins operations. When complete, the reentry capsule with the products inside is released, and the finished materials are then returned to Earth. The reentry vehicle comes home to Earth at hypersonic speeds greater than Mach 25 or 19,000 miles per hour. Eventually, it deploys a parachute for a controlled landing. For a lot of this journey, the photon will be facilitating different necessary actions. Photon has come a long way in the past few years. The spacecraft is based on the Heritage Electron Launch Vehicle Kickstage, leveraging numerous components that have significant flight heritage. Normally, Photon flies as the upper stage of Electron, eliminating the parasitic mass of deployed spacecraft and enabling full utilization of the fairing. The idea being, as a configurable platform, Photon can be tailored to meet unique mission requirements. From mass manufacture as a streamlined constellation offering to a single customized technology demonstration spacecraft, Photon is meant to be adapted to make different missions possible. This upcoming launch is just one of many unique examples. Rocket Lab has two different types of spacecraft buses both related to each other. The most standard and original option is the kick stage. Rocket Lab describes the kick stage as a streamlined path to orbit that eliminates the added risk, complexity, and cost of having to develop your own spacecraft propulsion or using a third-party space tug to deliver your spacecraft to orbit when flying as a rideshare. The Kickstage's propulsion system consists of Rocket Lab's in-house designed and built carry engine, 
six low minimum impulse bit cold gas reaction control system thrusters, tank pressurization system, and high propellant mass friction tanks which can be scaled to meet mission specific needs. Curie is an additively manufactured pressure fed engine with a flight heritage across more than a dozen orbital missions. It's a storable, restartable, bipropellant, liquid propellant engine integrated with lightweight composite propellant tanks and valves into a single compact module. The kick stage has deployed many satellites to standard 500 km altitudes, but also is capable of transferring payloads to much higher altitudes. During Rocket Lab's Electron mission, as the crow flies, the kick stage successfully raised the payload's orbit to 1200 km, before Curie performed a final burn to lower the stage's perigee by more than 700 km to rapidly accelerate the deorbit process, to avoid the used stage becoming orbital debris. The kick stage has been designed with the capability to deorbit itself on an accelerated timescale. By performing a deorbit burn with the Curie engine, Rocket Lab can lower the kick stage's perigee to increase aerodynamic drag on the spacecraft and cause it to deorbit within months or single digit years, as required. These, among other features, make it an important piece of equipment available to Rocket Lab. Photon, on the other hand, is considered a high performance evolution of the kick stage. In other words, for more intensive or mission specific applications, custom photon spacecraft are designed. Traditionally, almost all in space manufacturing research has been carried out on the International Space Station. This research has demonstrated that innovative materials and products can be created in the consistent microgravity environment of low Earth orbit, an environment that can't be replicated on Earth. Until now, manufacturing in orbit has been impossible to scale due to cost. Building a space factory with a proven photon spacecraft, one that doesn't require human tending in orbit, will allow VARTA to make building products in space at scale a reality for the first time. The first VARTA photon was planned for delivery in quarter 1, 2023 with the second to follow up later this year and a third in 2024. The contract, which is subject to standard termination provisions, included an option for Varda to procure a fourth photon, which they eventually did. The upcoming launch joins a growing list of photon missions, including the Capstone Lunar Mission in support of NASA's Artemis program, and a recently announced contract to design twin photon spacecraft in support of NASA's Mars mission. Rocket Lab just shipped its first custom photon spacecraft for Varda Space Industries. Soon it will arrive and then launch on a commercial rocket early next month. When in space, it will help support the small factory until it has produced its materials and sent them on a trajectory back into Earth's atmosphere. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.